Hello and welcome to another episode of Anything Arduino. Halloween is just around the corner and therefore we are, today we are going to go through the best Halloween sensor, the PIR sensor. So this is a motion detector sensor, you could call it that, which uh, so you this is for all the Halloween pranks you can have in your garden or in, fr in front of your door. So you have one of these just watching over an area and as soon as someone enters that area you can have your Arduino do whatever you want. So this is also a really simple uh, sensor to work with. You have uh, on the back side you have three pins. They can look a bit different all of these. But you have three pins plus minus and data in the middle and this is just a digital pin. So as soon as it sees a sensor, uh, senses a motion, it will send one signal, otherwise it will send, send the other signal. One is high, one is low, I don't know which yet. Um, and then it will also reset itself after a, a moment. So really simple to use, so we can just dive straight into the code. So to speed things up, I have done this very simple example sketch. So we are going to connect our PIR sensor on uh, pin 2 and then we just use the onboard LED for status. In this setup we are going to serial print the, the value of the digital read of the peer sensor. And then we set the pin mode for peer sensor to input and pin mode for the status LED to output. So with that in the loop which is very simple. Here we serial print the value just to see what it is and then depending on if it's low or high or high, high or low uh, in one of these fields we can do whatever it is we want to do when the when the someone activates the P PIR sensor. So let's uh, upload this to the Arduino and connect the pins. As I said, connecting this is really simple. All you need is three cables. Uh, this is so I can connect it directly to the Arduino with pins in one end and females in the other. Uh, so on this particular mod model you can't see which pin is which, but if you remove this lens uh, it says right here voltage out and ground. So let's connect these. So blue is ground and green is 5 volts and the middle one is gray and is data pin. So we connect that to pin 2. And then we put this lens back on. There. We are ready to try this sketch out. Okay, now I've started the serial monitor and you can see a bunch of zeros running by. And I'm sitting very still right here now. So now I move my hand in front of the PIR sensor and we get a 1 and then after a while I just touch my finger there so after a while it goes back to 0 and there and I'm not moving it goes back to 0 and just a little bit and it immediately senses I'm twitching my fingers and uh, this sensor it works a couple of meters away so it is quite sensitive I'm guessing there is a few uh, potentiometers here that you can change. I'm guessing that those is for sensitivity and stuff like that. Doesn't matter uh, for what we are going to use it for. This is good enough. So now we know when the digital pin 2 or PIR sensor pin is high, we get uh, this is activated. So let's do something fun then. I've taken away the serial stuff and uh, so now we know that as when the peer sensor is high that means that the 
sensor has been activated and someone is around. So here we put whatever code is when peer sensor is activated. So I have this mask that I want to have some glowing eyes as soon as someone comes close so I will just make a small sketch or a small loop that I will put in here and uh, I'll fit a few LEDs in my in this mask and we'll see what how that turns out I then added a breadboard uh, so I could add two LEDs one for each eye uh, and I had some cables and connected two LEDs I then draw an iris, like a snake iris kind of, on a piece of white paper which I just taped the LEDs behind. I then took the whole thing and I fitted it into the mask and just taped the two pieces of paper to the mask and then I put the whole uh, Arduino inside of the mask and stuffed it with paper and then connected the PIR sensor on the chin of the monster. Then I had some... Uh, I noticed that there really wasn't enough light with only on the eyes of the mask so I had to add some other lightning effects. So I tried a few LEDs with blinking kind of a thunderstorm kind of blink first with an UV light and then we had just a white light which had a better spread as well. So this is the UV light and then we tried with the white light instead which and then I tried a few different angles just to get the right angle to get the most scary look Okay, apart from the sound, it's all here working now. Um, I haven't added the sound yet, so that's still on my to-do list. I have a small MP3 player here and a MP3 shield, so I have to try these out. But that's for another day and another episode. This episode is with this concluded. I've added the peer PIR sensor which does a few things and plays around with a few LEDs and uh, I'm hoping this will scare a few of the neighboring neighborhood kids um, at least a bit anyway so happy Halloween and until next time take care subscribe bye